Thank you, Chair. First of all, I would like to complain that there is, I see there is no Slovak translation. I think it's not okay. We should always ask for it because uh, it should be done by default and uh, our citizens cannot follow this meeting. Otherwise, they can't, they don't have a right to ask for the translation. So, but to the point. I think measures to combat child sexual abuse online are, of course, necessary, but as my colleague said, uh, it shouldn't be abused for introducing the general monitoring tools. But my question is, what about, what about promoting pedophilia online? For example, in Slovakia we have a liberal newspaper called SME, it's uh, quite common, and they are defending pedophiles itself, themselves. For example, they are said that pedophiles are not criminals in one article, in another article that we as a public citizens, we condemn pedophiles unjustly and the public opinion is against, and the public opinion against pedophiles is not justified. Another article which is, which is quite extreme, that even pedophiles have right to live without prejudice and this is still online written by the deputy chief, uh, chief Officer, so is it okay to allow spreading such things online? I think we should stand against pedophilia and not allow to normalize it to become it something normal, like it's not, nothing has happened if somebody is a pedophile. We should always say that this is not good, this is wrong, and the person who does it should be criminalized. So my question is whether your legislation, Madam Commissioner, does cover also this propaganda or promoting promotion of pedophilia. Thank you. As I said in the beginning, this proposal that we are discussing today only addressed the online component. I, we are working on when we will soon start impact assessments for the revision of the child sexual abuse directive that will also deal with the scope and other issues.